Welcome to English Country Life. This is Cinnamon with some of her chicks and through this series we've watched her incubate, hatch and raise those chicks and soon they'll be becoming independent. Throughout this series we've answered lots and lots of questions and this episode is a special episode to answer three questions which we've been asked multiple times and we haven't yet dealt with in the series. So come and join us. Welcome, my name's Fiona. We're working with the brilliant podcasters Chrissy and Holly who are Coffee with the Chicken Ladies. In this series we've been following Cinnamon, one of our broody hens, as she incubates, hatches and raises her chicks. Throughout the entire series we have had some fantastic questions both from listeners to the podcast and a link to that is in the description below and the viewers to these videos so thank you so much for engaging with us it's been fantastic. We've answered lots of them as the series gone on but there are three which we haven't dealt with. The first is about the chicks climbing on each other, climbing on their brew tent and is that normal? The second is about the pecking order and there's lots of chest bumping and pecking between the individual chicks. And the third is about will a broody hen go broody again during the same season? So let's go through each of those questions one by one. We've been asked a few times whether we'd noticed our chicks climbing on their brood hen. This is very common. We found that it starts when the chicks gain their first feathers on the wings as part of their discovery of how to use these feathers. They start to experiment with gaining a little height. A safe way of using these new abilities is by jumping onto the backs of their brood hen. Sometimes the brood hen even carefully walks around with the chicks on their backs. Either way, it's highly entertaining for us to watch and the brood hens don't seem to mind at all. This is Cinnamon and Nutmeg back in 2019 sharing a coop. The chicks are climbing all over them. They're up and down, walking across. Neither Nutmeg nor Cinnamon seem to care that the chicks are all over them. It's normal behaviour and they're very, very happy to let them just discover how to fly, how to jump and get some more manoeuvrability. Chickens instinctively have a pecking order, and whether they're hatched in an incubator or hatched with a brood hen, as they grow, they try and learn their place in that pecking order. You might notice three things. There'll be staring matches with both chicks just staring at each other intently for a few seconds, if not even minutes. They'll lunge at each other. They'll be chest bumping. All three of these are very normal and it's important for the chicks to go through this, this natural behaviour as when they're chicks it's unlikely to be violent, more play fighting than fighting and in the long term it sorts out their hierarchical structures at a time when no injury is likely to occur. Of course it's possible that if the chicks don't have ample space and the ability to get away from each other that an injury could occur but in general that would be very rare and this behaviour forms an important part of their learning experience. It is possible that broody hens can brood again in one season. The brooding instinct is triggered by a flood of hormones from the pituitary gland. Those hormones need warm weather and more than 12 hours of daylight. Our hens will brood in spring and then around half of those will brood again at the end of summer. But that's a general rule and it isn't always true. But let me explain. If the weather conditions are very warm, we found that some of our chickens will brood, raise their chicks, send them off for independence and then two weeks after coming back on to lay, they'll start to brood again, so earlier than the end of summer. If a hen is raising chicks, we've never known them to come back on to brood during the time that they have those chicks. But if they're brooding and don't hatch any eggs, we have known our hens to come back on to brood a few weeks later. And in Frankie's case, in one year, she brooded four times without hatching any eggs. So you see that the general rule does have caveats both with warm weather and if they've been raising chicks or not. 
Those are the answers to the three questions which we hadn't dealt with so far in this series. But if you have any more questions, just leave them in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you haven't listened to Chrissy and Holly on their brilliant podcast, that's Coffee with Chicken Ladies, a link to their podcast is in the description below. It's so much fun, so please do give them a listen. If you have liked this content, take a moment to give me a thumbs up below. If you're not already a subscriber to the channel, come and join us. We've lots of homesteading, small holding, sustainability, and of course, chicken content. And that includes little Hazel, who's making all of this noise down here. You can't see it at the moment, but trust me, she's making lots of noise. She's just about to come back on to lay, and she's trying to inform me that she's got an egg coming. If you have any questions for me, as I said, leave them in the comment section and I will answer you as soon as possible. If you'd love to support the channel, we have branded t-shirts as well as other merchandise in our eBay store. And a link to that is also in the description down below. But for now, thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you next time.